first we will understand some of the important key points in averages first do not write anything listen to this carefully sir we will see how these key points will help us in problem solving do not judge anything before the start of problem solving have patience for some time listen to all these key points these key points will help you tremendously well in your problem solving now see here i am sure that you know the definition of average average is nothing but add all the terms in the given quantities sum of the quantities and divide it by total number of terms whatever you have sum of the quantities divided by number of quantities this is the basic definition of averages suppose for example if there are n term in the given series sum of all the n terms divided by number of terms n this is the basic definition of average suppose for example i have a series 13579 right i have a series 13579 just now i told you average is nothing but sum of the quantities by number of quantities sum is nothing but if i add all these five terminologies i will get the sum as 25 divided by number of quantities is 5 25 divided by 5 is 5 my average for this given series is 5 now instead of finding the average like this think logically sir can i say like this can i say like this the lowest term in the given series is 1 the lowest term in the given series is 1 the highest term in the given series is 9 and i got the average as 5 can i say that this average 5 it lies between lowest and highest value very very important point very very important point average average always lies between average always lies between lowest and highest values average always lies between lowest and highest values in any given series average will always lie between lowest and highest values in any given series you take any series whatever you like average will definitely between lie between lowest and highest value in that given series that means average will always be greater than the lowest value and average will always be lesser than the highest value that is my second key point my third key point i will again write the same series 13579 right 13579 can i say that 13579 it is in arithmetic progression right it is in arithmetic progression what is the meaning of arithmetic progression common difference between the consecutive terms should be same the common difference should be same it is same in all the consecutive terms so it is in arithmetic progression instead of adding all the five terms and then dividing by the number of terms five what i can do is whenever average whenever the given series is in arithmetic progression average is nothing but first term plus last term divided by 2 very very important point average in arithmetic progression is first term plus last term first term plus last term divided by 2 check it out if you want first term is 1 last term is 9 1 plus 9 is 10 10 divided by 2 is how much it is 5 that is what i got the average provided you arrange that series in ascending order or descending order and it is also equal to it is also equal to second term plus second last term by 2 3 plus 7 is 10 again 10 by 2 is nothing but 5 or it is also equal to third term plus third last term by 2 but in this given series third term and third last term it happens to be the middle value so very very important understanding is average in arithmetic progression it is always equal to first term plus last term by 2 it is also equal to the middle value right it is also equal to the middle value please remember it is only in arithmetic progression provided you have arranged that arithmetic progression series in ascending order or descending order average in arithmetic progression is always equal to middle value or it is first term plus last term by 2 i believe my third point is very very clear all these key points we will keep using in our problem sir that is the reason i am spending a lot of time in explaining this although these are very very easy to understand next point point number 4 listen carefully sir your key point number 4 suppose for example i will take an odd number series 13579 etc till n terms 13579 etc till n terms suppose 
think logically i am taking an odd number series if i add the first two terms what is 1 plus 3 1 plus 3 is 4 4 is nothing but 2 square if i add the first three terms 1 plus 3 plus 5 it is nothing but 9 9 is nothing but 3 square if I add the first four terms, 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7, it is 16. 16 is nothing but 4 square. Can I say like this, sir? Think logically again. Can I say like this? If any odd number series you take, if I add the first two terms, sum of first two terms is 2 square. Sum of first three odd terms is 3 square. Sum of first four odd terms is 4 square. Similarly, in general, sum of first n odd terms, sum of first n odd terms, it is always equal to n square, right? It is always equal to n square. But we are not interested in sum. We are interested in average. Average of first n odd terms. Average of first n odd terms. Average is nothing but sum divided by total number of terms. Sum is nothing but n square. Totally there are n terms. n square divided by n is how much? It is nothing but n. Very, very important point. Average of first n odd terms is nothing but n. Average of first n odd terms is nothing but n. Similarly, if I take an even number series, suppose for example, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, etc. till n terms. Same logic I'll implement, sir. If I add the first two terms, 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 can be written as 2 square plus 2. If I add the first three terms, 2 plus 4 plus 6, it is nothing but 12. 12 can be written as 3 square plus 3. Generalize it right now. Can I say that sum of first two odd numbers is 2 square plus 2. Sum of, sorry, even numbers. Sum of first three even numbers is 3 square plus 3. In general, sum of first n even numbers. Sum of first n even numbers is it is n square plus n right sum of first n even numbers is n square plus n if i take n common factor it is n into n plus 1 but i am interested in average average of first n even terms is average of first n even terms is sum divided by total number of terms sum is n into n plus 1 divided by totally n terms n will cancel so you are left with n plus 1 very very important key point once again average of first n even terms is nothing but it is n plus 1 similarly average of first n odd terms is nothing but it is n i believe that the first 10 minutes of our class whatever we have discussed the concepts or the key points with respect to averages for our problem solving is very very clear for my students kindly comment in the live chat if it is clear before i move on to the next problem solving of today's class Kindly comment, sir. And take my words, I will go very, very slow in today's class for the simple reason that idea is to make you understand the problems rather than just telling whatever I know it. I am more he interested, I am more interested in making you people understand the problems rather than probably telling whatever I only know it. Idea clear, sir? Average of first n odd terms is n. Average of first n even terms is n plus 1. And it is also understood that average always lies between lowest and highest values in any given series. And a beautiful understanding says that average in arithmetic progression is first term plus last term by 2 or second term plus second last term by 2 or third term plus third last term by 2 or in general it is nothing but the middle value right it is nothing but the middle value i believe that it is very very clear for you people do not miss any problem of today's class and believe me with today's class, I am going to take tomorrow's or whatever the next class on averages. That means if you miss out today's class, you are actually equivalently missing out the next class also. That is what I basically mean. Both are interrelated, sir. Do not miss out this today's class. And if you people have already watched this topic in our online portal way long before we have taken this topic, you can still watch today because I am going to add so many new questions which were not there in earlier classes of averages. Chalo sir, let us 
start with our problems now please see the first problem first problem first problem first problem is based on the key points whatever we have discussed till now very very easy question we will solve this question first problem based on key points what we have discussed find the average for the following prime numbers from 1 to 20 I need to find the average of prime numbers from 1 to 20. Now, what are the prime numbers from 1 to 20? 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19. These are the prime numbers from 1 to 20. First thing that you need to understand is, are they in arithmetic progression? Definitely, the, they are not in arithmetic progression because the common difference between the consecutive terms is not same. So, if they are not in arithmetic progression, one of the only way of solving or finding the averages add all the terms in the given series if i add all these terms i will get the sum as 77 divided by total number of terms totally eight terms are there average for my first question a question is it is 77 by 8 very easy questions to start with sir right 77 divided by 8 now listen carefully sir second question find the average of first 10 odd numbers this is the reason i discussed this beautiful key point average of first n odd numbers is n average of first 10 odd numbers is 10 you don't even have to write the first 10 odd numbers add all those things and then divide by 10 not required if you know the key point you can solve it so easily it is not the only key point whatever i have written for averages as i proceed with my class i will teach you more and more beautiful key points just hold on for some time third question is average of first 10 even numbers average of first n even numbers is n plus 1 first 10 even numbers is 10 plus 1 answer for the third question is 11 right answer for the third question is 11 fourth question fourth question average for first 12 multiples of 7 now first 12 multiples of 7 average i need to find first multiple of 7 is 7 into 1 second multiple is 7 into 2 third multiple is 7 into 3 fourth multiple is 7 into 4 12th multiple is 7 into 12 it is 84 now i don't know how to find the average that means what i am trying to say here is i did not write my entire series here i did not complete the entire series but still i can find the average so easily for the only simple reason that 7 14 21 28 35 etc till 84 all these are nothing but in arithmetic progression common difference is same average in arithmetic progression is first term divided by sorry first term plus last term divided by 2 answer for this question is 7 plus 84 divided by 2 answer is 91 by 2 which is 45.5 right answer is 91 by 2 which is 45.5 similarly same logic please apply for your fifth question your fifth question is 1 4 7 10 etc till 31 this is also in arithmetic progression average is nothing but first term plus last term by 2 it is 1 plus 31 divided by 2 32 divided by 2 is 16 answer for this question is 16 answer for this fifth question is 16 i believe that it is very very clear for you people idea clear sir next now see here sir there is another question which i need to discuss here in the first sub first question 92 94 88 89 91 90 86 90 now see here sir let me write it 92 94 92 94 what is the series 88 89 92 94 88 18 89 91 90 91 90 86 90 this is the given series now listen carefully sir can i say that First thing is that this given series is not in arithmetic progression. Even if I arrange in ascending order or descending order, it will still not be in arithmetic progression. So only way of finding average is add all the terms in the given series divided by totally there are 8 terms divided by 8. But if I add all these terms in the given series, it will take a lot of time because these are slightly bigger numbers to add, right? These are slightly bigger numbers to add. So what I will do is 
ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಟೂ ನೈಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸರ್ ಟು ವಿಚ್ ನಂಬರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸರ್ ಟು ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆರ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸರ್ ಟು ನೈಂಟಿ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಎನಿ ನಂಬರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಲೈಕ್ ದೇ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸರ್ ಟು ನೈಂಟಿ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಅಸ್ಯೂಮಿಂಗ್ ದ ಆವರೇಜ್ ಆಸ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈ ಅಸ್ಯೂಮ್ಡ್ ಆವರೇಜ್ ಆರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಟೆಂಟಿವ್ ಆವರೇಜ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ವೆದರ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಈಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಅಸ್ಯೂಮಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಮೈ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲರ್ ನಾವು ಇಫ್ ಐ ಅಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ದ ಆವರೇಜ್ ಆಸ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಈಸ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಟು ನೈಂಟಿ ಟು ಈಸ್ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಮೋರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ನೈಂಟಿ ಟು ಈಸ್ ಟು ಮೋರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ರೈಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ಟು ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಈಸ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮೋರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ರೈಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ಫೋರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಲೆಸ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಏಯ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಲೆಸ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಈಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಮೋರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಲೆಸ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಈಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಮೋರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಹೋಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈ ರೈಟ್ ನೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಐ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಝೀರೋ ಝೀರೋ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ನ್ಯೂಮರೇಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ನ್ಯೂಮರೇಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಝೀರೋ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಸೊ ಯುವರ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಈಸ್ ಆವರೇಜ್ ಈಸ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ರೈಟ್ ಆವರೇಜ್ ಈಸ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಬಟ್ ಎ ಸ್ಮಾರ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಸಿಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಮೈಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಎ ಡೌಟ್ ಸರ್ ಯು ಅಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ದ ಆವರೇಜ್ ಇನಿಷಿಯಲಿ ಆಸ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಅಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಪ್ರಾಬಬ್ಲಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೆಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಆವರೇಜ್ ಆಸ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಈಸ್ ಮೈ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ರೈಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸರ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಅಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ದ ಆವರೇಜ್ ಆಸ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಇನಿಷಿಯಲಿ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಲೈಕ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ದ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಟು ನೈಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಅಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಅಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ದ ಆವರೇಜ್ ಇನಿಷಿಯಲಿ ಟು ಬಿ ನೈಂಟಿ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಐ ಅಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಐ ಅಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಆನ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಮರೇಟರ್ ಆಸ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಆಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಟೇಕ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಟು ಈಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮೋರ್ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಮೋರ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಮೋರ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಈಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಟೂ ಮೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಟೂ ಲೆಸ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಈಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಟೂ ಮೋರ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟೂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟೂ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಟೆನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಈಸ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟೂ ಈಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಏಯ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೂ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ